Uh, Charlie Collier, um, the number one pick in the 2021 draft, has been waived from the Dallas Wings. Dallas drafted her as the number one pick, and then they drafted Awat Kawir as the number two pick for the 2021 draft. And in her two seasons, uh, Charlie averaged 2.9 points a game, 2.5 rebounds per game. And one thing to keep in mind is that injuries were a factor for Charlie Collier. And so... You know, it's it's uh, disappointing to see the number one pick um, get cut. And here's what Coach Trammell, the head coach of the Dallas Wings, had to say about Charlie. Um, she said that Charlie did a great job. Charlie came with an incredible mindset. She's a good person. And I only know that the ceiling is high for her. She deserves to be in the league. And I hope someone picks her up, whether it be us bringing her back or another organization. I am proud of Charlie. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that is the, um, that's the news for Charlie Collier. Um, and also, um, news about her possibly coming back, um, for, for the Dallas Wings. Um, in terms of Charlie, here's a statement that she released with the caption, God doesn't make mistakes. She said, today is a hard day, but I am proud of the work I have put in to get here and know there are better things ahead. I went overseas, grew as a person, and got better. All the feedback I got through camp was positive. Today, I was told that if not for injuries at other spots, I would have been on, on the team. That's a hard thing to hear. To be a number one pick is a privilege, and it comes with pressure. But I am thankful for every lesson and will use all of the negativity that comes today as fuel to be great. Work is never done. And I'm ready for my next opportunity. So that's that's Charlie's message. And Charlie's right. She she did get better. Um, she did go overseas and, you know, played pretty good. She played for uh, Ramat Hasharin. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Uh, over in Europe. And there she averaged about, you know, 30 or so minutes a game. Um, having... You know, some games where she scored 25 points, uh, 21 points, 20 points, 19 points. I do think she's gotten better as a player. Um, and I would love to see her possibly come back to um, the Dallas Wings in June, possibly, when um, Tierra McCowan will be out. There's a chance that, you know, um, you know, Dallas may pick her up. Uh, I'm just interested to see that. Um, also, I just think it's, you know, it's, it's sort of the state of the league that we're in right now. Uh, teams have to make super, super tough decisions, even with players who um, who are good, right? Even though, you know, Charlie, you know, uh, her average isn't very high for the WNBA. So you might probably like, well, you know, she wasn't very good. She's a, she showed a lot of improvement overseas. And I think her being the number one pick, shows that she was you know talented um and her making the decision to go overseas and and to improve her game is also a great thing it's great to it's great that she did that um and to have her not have a home two years after she was the, the number one pick is it's tough but that's how tough the league is it just it is what it is it's one of those things where like the league is the elite of the elite. The WNBA is the elite of the elite. Like you don't, um, you don't really get that many opportunities like that, um, unless your your coach just loves you or something. Um, and so yeah, Charlie Collier has been cut from the team. Uh, there's a chance she may be back. Uh, what do you all think about her being cut? Do you think that another player should have got cut instead of Charlie? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, uh, what do you think about this Dallas Wings team? Um, and the other players, uh, do you think that Dallas will actually make it to the, um, do you think that Dallas would actually, will actually make the playoffs? Um, that's something that's going to be very interesting. All right. So that is the video. Thanks so much for watching guys. And until next time. Bye.